So guys, as you can see, I have finally decided to bite the bullet and pick up the Mason Margiela Tabby Loafers. Now, honestly, these have been on my wish list for such a long time now. So I just thought it was finally time to kind of treat myself. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I was so close to getting the brown pair, but obviously, as you can see, I did decide on black and I absolutely love them. I honestly think they're such a great footwear piece for the spring summer seasons, especially, you know, for us guys where it is pretty hard to kind of stand out with our outfit because obviously it's super hot out and we can't really, you know, layer up and add multiple layers because it's too hot. So having a, you know, kind of statement footwear piece is honestly a great way for us guys to just slightly elevate our spring summer looks. I cannot wait to put some outfits together with these. Um, I'm actually I'm actually gonna be filming a reel, an Instagram reel styling these tomorrow. Um, and obviously tomorrow for me, this video going out on Sunday. So I'm gonna film a reel styling these and yeah, I'll put that up on the screen now. But yeah guys, Mason Margiela Tabby Loafers, very, very happy with this pickup. Actually switching up to more of like a vlog format, like a more of an, a cinematic vlog format, but it will still be heavily leaning into fashion yeah, because yeah. that is like recently to try and understand the social media landscape just as much as I know the LTK landscape so right. when I have these tools so guys, today I've decided to head into town because I was having a little mooch through the Cos website last night and I actually come across this really nice, I guess kind of knitted vest, which I just think will be perfect for spring summer. So we're gonna head into town, go to Cos, check it out, probably try it on, um, and probably just go to a few other places and have a bit of a mooch as well because I am actually going to Berlin this weekend um, so yeah, I've got a few things that I kind of want to pick up for that, but I'll give you guys a bit of an outfit breakdown first of what I'm wearing now. There is a life I lead in this city, hurrying to cut my teeth, I can take what I need to get by. Doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am home again? Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all Back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling But the feeling is all gone Okay guys, so it's the next day And I thought in this segment I really wanted to Kind of just sit down And talk to you guys about some brands That I've honestly been absolutely Loving recently And brands I really feel like you guys should be checking out, especially during these kind of spring summer months. There's a couple of really great, I guess, affordable brands that I want to talk about, but there's also a more kind of luxury or high-end brand that I want to touch on as well. But we'll start on the more affordable side, and that is going to be Abercrombie and Fitch, because <laughs> let's be honest, this brand has had one of the best rebrands I have ever ever seen. So many beautiful pieces and like I said at some really solid price points as well. Now 
One piece that really stood out to me was their kind of boxy but cropped camp collared lace shirts. We all know this style of, you know, lace shirt or crochet shirt was bang on trend last summer and this year it's going to be no different. As you can see, they've got loads of really nice colors to choose from, but what really kind of stands out to me is simply the silhouette. The fact that these are, you know, of course, boxy, but already have that crop in the length simply for me means it's an instant cop because you guys know how much I love a cropped gown. They're boxy t-shirts as well, like so, so nice. The perfect silhouette again. And the same as the shirt, like I love how many color options there are as well. There's just so much to choose from. These are gonna be heavily featured in my summer looks. And then lastly, with Abercrombie & Fitch, they're baggy trousers as well. Beautiful colors, the cream, the brown, perfect spring tones, nice and baggy. Um, and you know, for 65 pound, you can't go wrong. Next guys, the second brand that I wanna mention is a brand that I feel like doesn't get talked about enough on my channel. And that is Weekday, a really solid brand, especially if you're looking to kind of shop, you know, on trend fashion forward pieces at a really good price point. Weekday also has everything like trousers, jeans, shorts, knitwear, t-shirts, hoodies, shirts. It's got the lot. I would say out of all the brands that I'm gonna kind of talk about today though, Weekday, Weekday's definitely the most kind of trend driven. But because of that reason, you do definitely kind of time to time find some proper statement pieces that simply like make an outfit. I like a lot of their current kind of shirt options that they've got on the website. This, um, this boxy linen kind of cropped one, for example, that you can see on the screen. When I seen this, I was instantly drawn to it. I love the fit. And I also love that they're kind of slightly sheer as well, a bit different for me, but yeah, I kind of like that about these shirts. And in terms of colors, they come, I believe in black, and like a dusty white. So yeah, they're all gonna be linked in the description down below. The gray, I think they're called the Uno suit trousers. And um, those really caught my eye as well, you know, nice and wide in the leg. They've got the nice deep pleat detailing as well. So those caught my eye. And obviously you guys know, I'm a big fan of the Astro jeans as well. But again, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but make sure with uni uh, Uniqlo, with weekday, you size down. Weekday always runs big, so size down one, if not two sizes. So next, I have to talk about this brand, Studio Nicholson. I have been loving them recently. Um, obviously, you know, they are a lot more expensive. They're definitely in that kind of luxury price bracket, I guess, um, but, at the same time, you're getting incredible quality garments, really unique silhouettes. And yeah, I personally think the price is worth it. I've got these trousers, I'll go and grab them now, but I've got these trousers and I absolutely love them. Use the fact that these probably in the dining, but yeah, I picked these up in, in the vlog actually, about two months ago, I think. Um, and I've been wearing them to death. The quality, incredible definitely recommend really love the kind of deep pleats that they've got going on as well i also love this cardigan i've actually tried it on when i was last in london and honestly it was beautiful nicely cropped in the length and the fabric was like super dense so it was really heavy especially for a cardigan and this pullover knit as well again as you can see amazing silhouette but you know, like I said before, obviously Studio Nicholson is not an affordable, it's not an affordable brand. It's not at an affordable price point. Um, but if your budget does allow you to, I, I do recommend that you try them out if there are some pieces that you like, because I feel like you'll be impressed. Like I said before, guys, everything that I've just spoke about and everything that I worn earlier on in today's video is gonna be linked in the description down below. I'm definitely keen to hear your thoughts about this format, you know, a little bit of vlogging, a little bit of a kind of sit down segment, which is 
solely talking about fashion and just everything else in between. So yeah, do let me know in the comments what you think of this format. But I think that is gonna be it for today's video. Um, I'm actually heading to Berlin tomorrow. So hopefully I'll be vlogging that and that'll be up next week, fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, make sure you subscribe, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm posting pretty much daily, if not every other day, outfit reels, outfit inspo, all that kind of stuff. So follow me over there. And yeah, I will see you lot, hopefully next Sunday. Peace.